Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. To get the crank bolt loose, I uh, broke it free with a high power impact. Then I aligned the timing. Then I broke those 10 millimeters loose. Really, you should turn it and take the one out of the top corner out first if you want. Or take two of them out, leave two in. Anyway, after the timing aligned, I stuck the cam locking tool in since I'm not pulling the belt. Then I come back down here, remove that harmonic balancer bolt there. I'm going to replace the harmonic balancer since so much of that rubber's cracked. I got a better one from the salvage yard. <laughs> Get a new one if you can. Then, once I got the bolt out, I used this long boxed in wrench, wedged it here, and broke the end of that harmonic balancer off. Wasn't too worried about damaging it because I'm replacing it. And then, now I'm going to take the hydraulic tensioner loose so that the belt's loose, then I'm going to slide that gear off. If we won't slide off, I'm going to have to get a puller and pull it off that way. So I looped the timing belt out from under there, and you can see all of the oil crud buildup behind there. Anyway, I set this puller on here like this. You see the middle of it goes through the center of the crank. It's got claws that hook around there. Then you just tighten this in, tighten this in. Pull that off of there nice and even and stress free and then work on getting the seal behind it. This is how the puller looks. Pulling it off a little at a time. Cranking it in with this 13 millimeter. Pulled all the way off. As you can see, it has a key in it. Here's the key there. And there is the timing mark right there, that little notch in it. That notch lines up with that. So that with the notch gets lined up with the oil pump mark. And that's the seal I need to get out. So let me work on getting that seal out, clean that up, and put this stuff back together. My seal, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tool on it, get it installed. There's my tool, I'm gonna put some oil on that, oil on the seal. Put the seal on there. Probably use the bolt to set the seal all the way in. So let me get rolling. That's the seal over the tool. Put a little more oil around this edge here just to make sure it's all cleaned out. And now I'm gonna set it in place and probably use the driver to push it in. I have the bolt in place with the tool. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in with the uh, socket. You have it, the seal is in place. Pull the tool out, that way the spring doesn't pop off the seal. Run your finger around it. Make sure it's in the whole way around. Then line up your um, crank sprocket, slide it back on. Might have to work it on with the nut. Time these crank sprockets will just push back in. If they don't, use the nut push it on as far as it'll go use the nut to walk it in the rest of the way and then after you get it in all the way if it's still these will be walked in some more put your harmonic balancer on there and walk it in but you want to get that seated all the way when it says seated you can see if you got any play in your crank I've seen some of these you grab this pulley and pull out and push in I've seen these things move as far as a quarter inch which indicates that you got some wear somewhere but mine is nice and tight so I should be good to go and it shouldn't leak again if you could pull and push this in too much you're probably never gonna stop that leak so let me finish walking this in get my harmonic balancer that I'm gonna replace with make sure it's set in place and then I'm going to uh, put my belt back on after I make sure the mark is aligned 
and keep rolling. I have my cam locking tool installed so my cams are perfectly on mark. That harmonic balancer spun the crank around because I was trying to loosen it up and stuff. But as you can see, dead in the middle, that ridge on the crank sprocket goes into that valley to the mark to the oil pump. It's dead on. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see that I have this thing on its mark. Come on. That's the mark there. That's the oil pump. So my crank is dead on. I'm going to go ahead and set my belt in place. Set my harmonic balancer on there. And screw my harmonic balancer on there to walk this crank the rest of the way in before I uh, tighten everything up. Alright, I have the belt in place. When I put the harmonic balancer on, that's going to hopefully press that the rest of the way in. Looks like I'm about a sixteenth of an inch out if that thing ever decides to focus. There it is. Out just a little bit. Switching the harmonic balancer, I had to make sure that I got that guide pin. And it is stuck in my old harmonic balancer. So I got to make sure I have that for my new harmonic balancer. Probably not official, but your harmonic balancer goes on where when your timing is lined up, that little slit in the top of that goes in line with the belt going up to your idler roller. So I'm going to put this harmonic balancer that side up and the guide pin will come through there put those uh, start those four 10 millimeter bolts then put my center bolt in and torque it down also I locked my tensioner spacer in there so I'm ready to put this cover back on if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.